y'all. Just want to do a quick video. I'm about to deep condition my hair. And I wanted to share with you guys what I am using. Some Shea Moisture. Now let me pronounce it the best way I know how. <laughs> Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. It's with African Rock, Fig, and whoa baobab oil i'm looking at this other one because i already have an empty one mm -hmm. no residue not a drippy drop because your girl not leaving a drop oh my goodness this smells glorious glorious mm. Mm, if you can smell heaven it's right here in this container. Oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. I love this stuff. I absolutely want 5,000 of them. <laughs> you know how you really want something? And you just want 5,000 of them? Well, I'm really highly into masks. I just rinsed out of, um, I do rinses in my hair because... My edges, like right here, right here, right here. You see the little gray poking out. And um, I got a different color this time, and I it look black. <laughs> I mean, I promise you, it look black. I'm not even gonna rub it off. But anyway, that's just a little sidebar. It kind of threw me off. It's called dark brown, but it look black. Even as I was putting it on, it look black. Um. I don't know. I hope it'll hold that gray off sooner. But anyway, y'all, let's get back to this mask. I really, really, absolutely love um, masks. That is what I'm using. You want to know what I'm doing? I'm doing masks. My regimen, I need to do a video. But I basically either co-wash or shampoo. Next, I do a rinse-out conditioner. Next, um... I put color in if I feel like it. <laughs> My um, you know, rinse color. Next, I put a deep conditioner and you know, get on the dryer or go to sleep in it, depending on how I feel, depending on how late it is outside. I might be sleeping in this. I'm not sure what you would know by the end of this video. But um, because it's pretty light. So that's my that's my regimen. And I like to deep conditioner, excuse me, I like to deep condition with mostly masks. It's not all the time masks because my Joey Co. one that I deep condition is not called a mask. It's called a treatment balm. But it's thick like a mask. Masks tend to be very thick. And I have found when my hair is several weeks post that I need a mask. The, for my new growth area to be manageable. Also, when I do touch up that new growth area on relaxer days, it really doesn't get straight. It really doesn't get, it gets more manageable. But I was four weeks post relax. And when I was with my sister-in-law, she said, ooh, it's time for a relaxer. And I'm five weeks now. And I said, actually, no, it hadn't really been that long since I did my relaxer. It's just, the relaxer just doesn't take as much. I don't run it through my hair. Um, I smooth it out. I don't do all of that. I don't know if I'm going to consider doing it. I consider changing perms. That's another video. But the point is, the way my texture is, closest to my um scalp is really thick <laughs> and so because it's so thick i'm really at a point where i've really learned how, you know different products that are helpful to me i still like to try plenty of products and i still got them and i'm still using different things but a nice thick something <laughs> Is the last thing that I really need on my hair when it's many weeks post. And the truth is, I'm five weeks post. It started getting, you know, 
a little bit more uh, manageable at eight weeks. But this thickness, I mean, trying to see, can you see it in the... I mean, it's kind of like right here. You think my hair would be, you know, smoother. So, I happen along this beauty because I want several masks that I use. I don't want to be stuck with just one mask. I don't want my hair getting used to one mask and not performing anymore. So, I want, and some of the masks I like can be pricey. <laughs> So I have to be able to, my favorite is the Fair Kai, and it's like 25 bucks. So I have to be able to alternate. And this is a great alternate because I super duper love this product. I've used it on me. I've used it on my oldest daughter. And her hair is super thick. This is good for her as well. I love it, love it, love it, love it. If you haven't tried it, you're going to love it, love it. Write in the comments. Tell me. You love it. Tell me, mm, you right. It smells like heaven. <laughs> Just, I mean, I love this product. I need this product, and I have to get up under under some heat with this product. Um, let me see to tell y'all, cause I don't want to say this has great slip, cause I don't remember it having great slip. It doesn't like to me. You may say, well, it has great slip to me. Like I've had a twist out recently. So my hair tends to be, you know, really more tangly than most because it's certain strands like this that clump together. And so I just take a generous amount of product and I do this. I just smooth it out. I just smooth it out because my hair is already, look, the roots are real thick. I'm just, you know, I know my hair, my, my roots are really thick. And I just smooth this out. I get the edges real good. I might really take my time because this is a thick product. If this product had a lot of slip, it probably would glide on better. But it doesn't. So that it doesn't. I really want to make sure I got my roots. And as I finish one section, I just kind of twist this up. And we put extra at the bottom. I don't care. Now this product is is sold only at um Target, from my understanding. And yeah, I've looked. <laughs> Can I get it anywhere else other than Target? If I don't feel like driving to Target, Target is not a million miles from me. But sometimes I can just go up the street and get something. So I have to drive a little bit further to Target. And this was a product I really, 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 really didn't want to run out of. Because, like I said, I can use this instead of my um, expensive Fed Cat product. And that made me feel really good. And so I just really saturate every inch of my hair. Every inch of my hair. I had been seeing people talk about this product on YouTube. And I was thinking, oh, I'm going to try it one day. Yeah, one day I'm going to try it. But I'm glad I finally did. I'm open to um different masks too. I just don't pick them up like that. But I probably look at them and study them for a moment. And um, I know J.C. Penis was having a sale on some stuff. And they had a, I don't know if I'm going to say the word right, Biolodge. They had a mass markdown for 50% off. And I started to get it because I really like masks. And I've never had that product before. And sometimes you will be amazed. You're just kind of trying something that's on sale. And it's and it'll be something you end up really liking. And so I had I have been watching it online for a while. I was thinking, hmm, I'm gonna try that mask. I'm getting my roots really good, but I haven't tried it yet. Just been eyeing it. But that's the kind of purchaser I am. I kind of eye stuff for a while and 
see if I really want it. Is it an emotional purchase? That stuff's been important, guys. I don't like emotional purchases. I like something you can look back and be glad you got or you tried or... But my hair really needs this. I mean, really. And like I said, it doesn't have slip. But go up on the dryer with this, honey. You want to. You really, really want to. It's really thick, so it's not going on smooth. You're going to want to part your hair. And the reason, I mean, it's not a perfect part. But you want to make sure it's getting on every bit of hair. Back in the day, how I used to apply my products. I just rubbed it in my hands and did like this and rubbed it on my hair and I was done. But, um, I'm just more aware nowadays that products really can't get to all the strands of your hair like that. This product is thick, thick, thick. And my hair needs this thick product. Tang gully. But once I get up under this dryer, honey, my hair is going to be so mo so moisturized. And my you're going to hear my hair say, thank you. Thank you. Love it. Love it. Love it. And so I just, I feel to make sure all my roots are done. Now, it's not in a pump. It is in a container. Um, thinking all my masks are in a, you know, it's in a, you know, scoop out container. My Joey Co. thing is in a squeeze out thing. But something that I've been experienced with these squeeze out things or even these pumps. Got this one review to do. And I got some mixed emotions. Because it's challenging getting the last of the product out. And... This particular product got a substantial amount still in there. And so it's like, I love the pump. I love the pump more than anything. But it's like lots of product that was still in there that's challenging to get out. And that, I don't like that. So, honestly, like I showed you this other empty container. I like this other empty container because it's not a drop left. Call me what you want to call me. But... I want like every drop of my product. I pay for it. It's $11.99. And I want every little $11.99 drop. And so, in some of those pumps and stuff, it's really challenging to get the last of that product out. Another thing, this product is very thick. You wouldn't be able to put this in a pump. And this other product that I'm reviewing is thick too. So, it's like... I haven't did review yet, but it's like, ugh. so I understand why they didn't put it in a pump, but I know sometimes when people are in the shower, they would appreciate a pump because it can be challenging when they're in the shower, you know, doing their hair. You don't want any water getting in the product. You don't want to water down your product. But anyway, this is me. Putting on my hair, see how thick it is. Totally thick. It's not totally easy to spread. And I'm just, you know, I'm being honest. It's not really easy to spread because it's so thick. And so, and so that's why it's very important that you part your hair. See how I just did this, and you and I, you know, you think I have it, but look, you don't see nothing there. And look, you have to open that up. To get that at the roots. Kind of like putting a chemical perm on your scalp. That is so tangly. And so it's important to make sure you section your hair with your fingers the best way you can. Because And 
pan. Get up the, under the dryer. I for my for me, I get up under the dryer for like at least thirty minutes. And I say at least because sometimes you could be reading something, you could be looking at something on your device, you look and it's you know, it's forty minutes. But I try to do a minimum of thirty. And I do sleep in my um conditioners when I'm when I'm doing my hair and it's late. It's late, I'm tired. Like it's late, I'm tired now. Um so I might sleep in this. But I'm still gonna do my dryer time because that's important. Sometimes I don't do the dry time at night, but in the morning before I rinse it out, I get up under the dryer. I'll just smooth this in right up on the, over here my hair tends to be not as processed so I put tons of product over there since I've been noticing that but I'm putting on a plastic cap get on the dryer I've used this product a couple of times sometimes I come at you all with my initial thoughts and sometimes you know depending on the review the product my mood being led by the spirit. Sometimes I use a product about two, three times before I um come at you with a review. And I try not to do bad reviews. Like, ooh, I use this product and I just hate it. <laughs> That's not fair. It probably worked real well on my daughter. <laughs> That's not fair. It probably worked real well on my neighbor. It's just certain products. And y'all know, y'all shopping stores just like me they're better on certain hair textures. So I don't like to bash products because I know, like sometimes it can be something as simple as you just didn't, you know, use the product right or according to the instructions. I know I tweak um, instructions, just, you know, the way I like to do my hair products. But I love this stuff. I absolutely recommend it. Don't sleep on this product. This product is also good because it fights poverty. 10% um, of Shea Moisture Community Commerce. Let's see. Right in this small. Sales go to women-led businesses to support communities that supply ingredients for our products. Um, or to support the Salfi Turk Tucker Foundation. And it's not a donation, it's an investment to a fair world. For more information and to get involved, please visit www.shaymorsha.com. So, this is so cool. It's like, when you buy this, they taking ten percent to help fight poverty, and then you know it's it's not like you're getting this product that doesn't work, <laughs> you know. Like oh, we're gonna do a fundraiser and we're gonna give you a little sticker that you can't do nothing with. No, it's like you actually buy a real good product. Like I don't want to be out of this product, and when I buy this. You're taking some of the money and sow it, you know, to help fight pro poverty. Like, that's a double whammy. Like, wow. So, I'm winning. They're winning. Um, the people in wherever this community is. Um, Shea Moisture is winning. And it's like, wow. This is super cool. I just like that. So we help uh, fund training and infrastructures to help uh, manufacture their own quality goods in their own countries and to, you know, get fair prices for their goods and labor. And this helps them earn a better living and support their families make it a better life possible within their communities love this product i love this product 
I'm going to come back when I rinse it out. Whenever I rinse it out, if it's tonight, if it's in the morning. So you can just see how my hair looks when I rinse it out. But I'm putting a plastic cap on it. If I sleep in it, I'm going to put two plastic caps. Um, two plastic caps. And then a satin cap on top of it. But we'll see. Hello, I am back. I almost didn't come back. You want to know why? It was freezing. <laughs> that sound crazy? You want to see what's going on with my hair? But it was totally freezing in Georgia this morning. Like, I didn't know what degrees it was, but I didn't know if I was coming back to finish this video because it was so cold this morning. It was so cold. I was like, um... I need my husband to get the um, little bitty heater from the attic. When I used to do videos last winter, I would have a little heater at my feet. Because, you know, when your hair is wet, you're like freezing. And I'm just sitting there thinking, whatever hairstyle I was going to do or finish or complete, that's what the whole holdup was at the beginning. Because, like, when I go to sleep with conditioning my hair, I, like, jump up and roll it or jump up to whatever hairstyle I'm going to do. I'm just too sleepy to do it at night. And, um, <laughs> you okay, sweet pea? Okay. Okay, my toddler came in here. But it was freezing. It was freezing. It was freezing. I went to sleep with, um, product in my hair. My lovely conditioner. And then I put a um, satin cap on top of it. Just a snug one. Um, but I, I do double when I sleep in it. And I don't know, I was just freezing. Totally freezing. I was freezing like, oh my goodness. Because I went to sleep with a wet head and when the season changed, you, you know, it's different things I need to do, like put socks on. I don't know. This just kind of, this kind of shocked me. And so, I, it made me forget about, now how did I do my hair last? How did I do my hair last season? Did I? I did roller sets in the winter. How did I do that? It was so cold. And so I'm like, oh, I had my heater. So anyway, I had to get my heater. I didn't feel like fin finishing my hair because I was just totally freezing. Um, I needed to get under the dryer because I went to sleep with this. I went under the dryer. I fell asleep. I don't even know how long I was under the dryer. I know it was at least 30 minutes. It could have been about an hour. It could have been under an hour. I was done. I was freezing. I had my socks on. I was like, okay, I don't know if this is ever going to be finished. <laughs> so, yeah, that kind of shocked me. And so, once I was coherent, I, I looked and it was like, 50 degrees this morning and I was like wow wow made me wish I had finished my hair last night but I'll be better prepared my husband did get the heater and yeah but you can't feel it my, my hair is super moist super moist super moist it, it, it feels similar to if I had put some oil on my hair. Because um, I've done that. Um, there's some people that, that oil their ends and stuff. Or baggy their ends with oil. When I first started watching YouTube videos and stuff. So, that's what it feels like. It feels like my ends are oil. And this is the same product that's on my ends that mean... Right here feels nice, oiled, and moisturized. I do recommend with this product, putting some heat with it. I know some people have heat caps. They got all kind of things they, um, you know, they do to heat up their stuff. Um, I use the soft hooded dryer for this to complete um, this. And so I'm going to rinse this out and it's going to be beautiful and it's not as cold as it was. It's 70 degrees and life goes on and I have to prepare for this winter. <laughs> my hair. <laughs> I will do my hair only in the daytime or something. I don't know. 
because it's kind of funny. It doesn't get cold in Georgia. Um, you know, it doesn't get cold in Georgia early either. So, kind of threw me off. Let me rinse this out. Ooh, that breeze from the window. So, my toddler comes in today. And she's like, you got the thingy. Talk about the little space heater. My husband this morning, he was like, you want to just turn the, the central heat on? I'm like, honey, no. <laughs> I ain't ready to start paying that. <laughs> we'll just pull, up, pull out our little space heaters from the attic. <laughs> so it's like, no, nah, baby. No. <laughs> My toddler, like you got your little pinky. <laughs> yeah, sweetie, it was cold. So, anyway, I'm just showing you guys how moisturizing this product is. Um, That's what I, I have been finding out about masks for me and my hair. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm sure it's for different textures. But for my hair, that's what I really need. I've been finding out masks are, are good for me. Um, they're helpful when I'm styling my hair and detangling. I need something nice and thick. Um, and just to give you a heads up, I just wash out this thick product. And you all know how thick it is because I was showing y'all and y'all saw me, um, y'all saw me applying it. But, um, when you have a product that thick and these thick masks that I really absolutely love, it can be, you know, I don't want to say a doozy to wash it out, but you you know, you got to make sure you wash it out compared to just shampoo or a rinse out conditioner. I'm doing all of this when I'm rinsing it out to really make, because sometimes I can come over here and, you know, getting ready to style my hair and I can still see, you know, some on the edges. So you want to make sure. Now, I know for some naturals, what they do is they do leave a little product still in their hair for when they're styling it. But for me, um, just what I've learned, even when you, you're doing your hair and you have a deep conditioner, there is something kind of still left that helps style your hair, um, you know, for the rest of that week. That I don't know, I'm not saying it right in, in the most technical words, but because I condition my hair, my hair is going to be... Um, I put a mask on it. It's going to be more manageable anyway. I should see some better results from my hair this week from, from when I didn't use a deep conditioner. Prime example, I used another conditioner and it wasn't a mask to deep condition my hair maybe two weeks ago. It's a new conditioner, so I haven't done, did a review on it yet. I was thinking, hmm, okay, I'm five weeks post, um, you know, now. But back when I use this other conditioner, I'm thinking, well, I don't have to use a mask. Hey, save my mask products that I deeply love. And let me see if I can use some other products when I'm under eight weeks post. Well, I use another conditioner. Um, and my hair was fine. I deep conditioned it, set on the dry for, for 30 minutes. But I kind of noticed something to me um, throughout, I want to say the week or after I finished with my hair. I felt my hair is more manageable. Um, when I, when I do a mask. And so, I don't know, maybe if my relaxer took more, or I left it in long, or I smoothed my relaxer, maybe I would consider doing that. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but maybe I wouldn't have to. But manageability is so important to me with my hair. Even if you're text lax, even if you're natural, um, I'm sure those are some things you can relate to, even, even if you're transitioning or even if you're just a person that stretch your relaxers. Um, mask is the way. That's the way to do it to help manage your hair. Yeah, they're a lot thicker. They don't have a huge amount of slip. But once you rinse them puppies out, I'm just telling it's going to be a big difference. Like I could put my hand through my hair. Yeah, I'm five weeks post, but I don't know if you can see it. But it's kind of like, it's a, it's a different texture that's just going on right in here. And if you're not good to this texture, you can mess around and break it and cause breakage. And so, 
that's why a lot of products I'm using nowadays are masks. I'm making sure some of my, some of my products have um, proteins in them. Um, you know, stuff like that. And so, I absolutely love this product. I'm glad I finally finished. <laughs> Got a cold snap on me. That was totally unexpected. <laughs> but, um, I'll be better prepared with my tutorials. <laughs> For the winter, for the fall. I'm loving the season. I'm loving this change. I'm loving the breeze. Um I wanna I want I was gonna do um for my hair one curls, but um it was so cold, honey. We're gonna have to wait on the one curls. I'm just gonna do a twist out now. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna do a twist out. We're not doing no one curl. I saw I looked at the rollers. I was freezing. We won't be doing a roller set. I was cold. So, um, anyway, this is a totally, totally, I, it's, I have to have this. I have to have, I remember one time seeing a video and, huh, was it the Glam Twins? But somebody was saying they hope this is not a temporary kind of a product. And, honey, I don't need this to be a temporary product. But this is a mask. It's affordable um, because it's so thick. It works in this container. I love it. I love it for my relaxed, text lax hair. I love it for my daughter's thick, natural hair. Um, Got to sit up under the dryer. To me, you just get better benefits when you get up, get under the dryer with this or have a heat cap, a hot cap, or have whatever kind of cap you do. Also, um, make sure you rinse it out because it's super duper thick, but I love this product. I endorse this product. I absolutely love it. It's like I'm ready to get another one. I still got plenty in here, but this is something I do not want to run out of. I do not. I do not. I will not. Mwah. <laughs>